Good evening. Yo. Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait. Is that how you greet me after so many days? I never thought you'd be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving for so many days without notice. See Joe? You'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you to have a key never arose. True. Anyway, Gil, you're fine. Glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you gonna make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or was trying to come back to bite you in the ass. But remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after the hell broke loose. At least, give us a sign that you're still alive. So you were worried? Is it that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right though. You shouldn't have make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats don't move the engine antenna, would you? Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Bye bye. Hey boss. Why did you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours. But I told you you can keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Part of because I didn't feel right taking it, but mostly because I thought you would totally look cute in it without with it. I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Right. Um, boss, how about last night? I think I said one too many things and uh, so what? Drunken banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, don't give it too much thought. Stupid me, Cross. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Doesn't help if I don't have the damn voice thing installed. Well, not, not installed, but open. Nothing. Let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine. And let's not change anything. Let's go. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Uh, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tell her it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss! Someone, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come asking for her though. It's not so weird when you're PTC's regional manager in these, places, these parts. Yeah, I guess that's... Um... I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I... Don't worry. I know who I am. I'm not a fan of people treating me too nice because of my position anyways. Had to be like I'm just another client. Alright. And I, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Right up. He wants a sugar rush.
a big build out of Sugar Rush. Why? They're like fried eggs from mixed drinks. That was the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar Rush are simple enough that the only are simple enough that you only need to follow the instructions. And if you can't even do that, your future as a bartender is not right. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, I see. Donna has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess he won't have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure more in Bahala. organizations in their ranks. Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those folks have been trying to elude legal problems with the BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols meaning the White Knights can't be completely. At least not without going through a ton of people first, giving the criminal time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has to go through an effective method for money laundering. Or where does the Hala come in? Young Bar. Young Bar are the ones under the radar right now. And the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just the Hala, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure of the low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get hacked, low sales is the rarest one. The low sales are where a problem, lots of bars will be closed every year. You'll find out soon enough, huh? Alright. Oh, nothing, don't no, mind. Is your guess was spot on again? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal in your place. God, pardon me if you heard that. So, I mean, she's worrying about nothing really. I mean, this bar is... If, if it's not really making a lot of money, it should be a problem. And then, not to mention, they have no real criminal records. I mean, we have to really question the skill there, but... Pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemi chemical damage or shady drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closest thing to a recent complaint was that whole farmer fabric affair from a little while ago. So much saliva. I want to give my hopes up though. Especially since the BTC will try to stay safe by acting as many suspects as possible. Or you're making an effort is enough, thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe, the recipe book has a drink created here, right? Oh, so give me one of those, please. Sure. Uh, it's Argentinian tonight. 
Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. I see. Sorry, Ryan. I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Joe? No. Not really, no. Although, yeah. If you were to evaluate my performance right now, how would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of the correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The original supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss will talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Bella. What a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella and get me a big beer, please. Uh, sure, on it. Stella asked for a beer. No, she didn't ask for a beer. That's where you messed up and your so-called focus. But that's not her fault. It's my fault if I mess this up. She asked for a big beer and that's what she's gonna get. Sure you're fine? Um no sire, right? Of course. What's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and Oh. Ah, come on. Here I was trying to say that damn thing was on. It's not even on. Give me a second. God damn it. There's two apps that I have to worry about now. Um, there was a private eye here the other day. I? 
sorry. Bit on edge. Private detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you want his service? What's his name? I believe it was Art Bon. No, Bon. Daily? Delay? Oh, that art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for Sai. So, you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. And I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering his own. I believe he'll give me an answer about Sai, whatever they might be. I wish I had a magic wand so that I can solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not you're about feeling uncomfortable. I just work. I'm just weird. Usually, I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that don't sound hypocritical, unless, or useless, or tasteless. Glad to know you have that much common sense at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you anything else? Something sweet. That'll help me calm down a bit. Happy. She wants something sweet. What could she possibly want? I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do the jobs because I'm used to this pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation, so... Would you like some fresh air? I, I'm gonna make. I'm gonna take my break, and you can use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Go, please service Miss Stella while I'm on my break. Sure, leave it to me. That was surprisingly quick. Usually they have 30 minutes with the before I go into the damn break. But then again, I'm usually ranting and everything. Uh, let's see if here. And then... Go back. Continue. God damn it. Is it chilly outside? I'm ba- uh -huh. What did it... What would a kid like you know about that, huh? I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in. Cat boomer girl get, greets him. They start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got real riled up and started bad mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. 
While I don't deny Zaibatsu's corp is anything but innocent, when you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. If you don't know, she's I think she is the daughter of the co corporation. So she has a good stake in it, but uh, I'm pretty sure even then it's like she's trying to do good, but the vast majority of what's going on in the city is pretty much happening because of everyone else. Yeah, if by it in hands, you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our neck. Can't you see the whole big company don't care about us? Why do you think this city is mocking me called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test for them to use whenever they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it, it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. But can you deny them that the meddling of the boxing book has brought quite a huge benefit? Like what? The AI integrated program they started is making huge advancements in the AI department. See, this is where, for me, it's kind of where does this game begin and the other game? And I'm talking about rap, read only memory. Uh, because once you get into that one, you'll know what I mean. But it has to do with computer AI. It's very interesting to know how artificial intelligence has come to play a part with this game and the other game. But we have to get wait for that to come about before I actually feel the thing. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of organized AI as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation, reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Lenin prison. AI went rogue, transferred to the delivery drone, or ship it to the new city. The murder is now delivering your people. Fair point. Although the program has reformed many AI, they don't brag about they, they don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um, the city has also has a strong economic economy. The Boston Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here, and the gap between classes continues to grow. More companies just means more people their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower class. Stores have 20% more brand variety compared to last year. Uh, the Boston Corp's main medical research brand has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses previously thought incurable are made are being just addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here, we're experiencing medical shortages, shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there's also more jobs. All of the companies coming down here need professionals. So the unemployment rate has gone down almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there, give me a zen star. Sure. 